Good morning guys and girls, half past eight Monday the 30th of May, bank holiday Monday here in the UK and we are just preparing some breakfast. So again we're going to have some of these power cakes, so these protein packed power cakes and probably have some yogurt as a side just to get the protein up. But a little update on how prep has been going for the last few days. So last week I hit a new low of 177.4 and then I hit 178.2, then 177.6 and this morning, even after a refeed, 178. So looking back at the trends, my past refeed days I've been anywhere from one to two pounds heavier and this morning I was 0.4 pounds heavier which means I think I'm going to hit a new low in a couple of days time. I'm definitely feeling leaner, uh, a lot harder and leaner so fingers crossed. I'm going to hit a new low in the next couple of days. So we're going to enjoy this, we've got an action packed day today. I say action packed, we're basically just cooking all day and trying to get some steps in and some training later on. So whilst I've been doing some client work, Charlotte has been out to Sainsbury's to get some wares, but I thought I'd share with you just a few things that we like to eat like during prep. So some low calorie ideas and stuff that you can buy in your local supermarket. We got this popcorn, which is like 51 calories a bag. 50. So normal popcorn, like the other popcorns I've seen, they're like 80 to 100. I know that may not seem like a lot different, but that is awesome. 51 calories. Not bad. Five one bars. These on offer in Sainsbury's, so obviously picked up some of those. Five one, 90 calories. 90 these calories. are better. So there's, there's two. I personally like these ones. Yeah, these too. are the lemon drizzle ones compared to the chocolate ones. Um, biltong, it's like beef jerky but better. That wasn't our effort, but whatever. And all of this was reduced. You know how much we love reduced stuff. Oh, and I love mango, so this was. A There's drink. a mango, pineapple, fruit, getting your fruit in, and then a load of other stuff. What other stuff have we got? Um, some veggies. Um, we're going to do some recipes this afternoon, so we've got some marsh stew and baby corn and some peppers, just onions, chicken stock, reduced salt and soy sauce because of sodium, um, reduced salt and sugar, smart ketchup, that's for a recipe but I need to have in, and these which I think are brilliant, um, pre-prepared cauliflower rice and beetroot rice, I've never made that in my life but I've made this and it is a bit of a pain, it's a bit messy so if you can buy it, why not? So just gone 1.30 p.m. and I am tucking into this sweet and sour chicken with a little bit of rice. I have no idea what's in this, but she does. I don't think she's sure. But anyway, it looks good, smells good, so we're going to enjoy this before making some more recipes this afternoon. Okay, so we are off to my mum's house now, which is about a 30 minute drive. And we are going to have a barbecue, although the weather doesn't seem quite conducive to having a barbecue, but we're going to have one anyway. So you'll probably notice if you follow me on other social media and stuff that I've been doing a little bit of work for Iceland, so the supermarket Iceland. And they've asked me to basically do a barbecue recipe. And for the last couple of weekends, it hasn't been that great, but I've got to do it. So I've got to get it in and I'm going around to my mum's because she's got, a, well, a better barbecue than mine. Because mine is literally an instant barbecue. Uh, so we're gonna go do that now, but also it's kind of a direction I'm going more in with my business So I typically do one-to-one -one sessions personal training But I'm kind of making that shift now into doing one-to-one -one online training uh, online group training uh, But also getting it back into the recipes I was falling into the trap of doing things that I didn't really enjoy and that's not to say I don't enjoy one-to-one -one, I do but I just want to be a little bit more dynamic and have kind of more strings to my bow and get back to doing the things that I really, really enjoy, which is making food, making recipes and making it really accessible for people. So helping my clients with new recipes and things like that and just doing something I really enjoy. So it may seem like all we do is eat and cook. It pretty much is all we do, but it's just, again, it's just something that we enjoy, something I enjoy, something Charlotte enjoys. So why not do more of it? So we're gonna go to my mum's now, get a couple of recipes done, tick off the box for Iceland and just spend some time with family and do that and then head to the gym later on. Oh no, I don't even know the words. <laughs> I know one word. You ready? You ready? Yeah. The 
the one word this song is all that matters. <laughs> you, ooh, ooh, you, ooh, ooh. What a tune! Oh. We're here! Don't put my sunglasses on because it's super sunny if it's far so sunny. <laughs> Pretty sure it's gonna rain. <laughs> so I wanted to touch on an uh, email exchange I had with a client earlier today and it was actually from a post she put up on Instagram so it was a quote she put on Instagram I'm not usually into quotes but I'm paraphrasing it was something along the lines with not looking about what's happening next week next month but what's happening right now and in the next 24 hour period and that's really how I'm approaching this prep and I think it's a good thing for people to do when they're approaching like a fat loss phase so obviously I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to the competition I'm looking forward to uh, what weight I'm going to be this week, next week, and in a few months to come. But that means sod all if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing today. So while it's good to look forward and it's good to have that goal to look forward to, it doesn't matter if you don't do what is required every single day. So don't get yourself worked up or don't get anxious. Because I do, honestly, I think, oh, am I going to be ready? But actually... If I don't do what I need to do on a daily basis on that 24 hour period, then I'm never gonna get there anyway. So just to summarize, don't worry about what's gonna happen next week or what's gonna happen next month. Just do your thing on a daily basis. For me, that's hitting my macros, getting my training in, doing my cardio if I need to do it, and not trying to worry whether I'm gonna hit weight or what my scale weight's gonna be. I'm just hitting my numbers, ticking off the boxes, doing that every single day for the next 12 weeks now that I'm four weeks in and fingers crossed I'll be pretty peeled by the time it comes to the show day. Fitspiration, fit fam. <laughs> what are the hashtags can we have? <laughs> Cheat clean. <laughs> Bend your chest open so I can reach your heart. I need to get inside or I will start a war. Wanna look at the pieces that make you who you are I wanna build you up and pick you apart Let me 
we see the dark sides as well as the bright. I'm gonna love you inside out. I'm gonna love you inside out. Let me see the dark sides as well as the bright. I'm gonna love you inside out.